balance of power. Hello everybody. Like I promised in an earlier video, War of the Game. So here it is, we're going to do a first few levels. I will say it's harder than it may seem at first. So let's get started with the first mission. Backlash. So it begins. Foothold. Hello, Commander. All decisions at war have been integrated in this new convenient computerized control system. I am its voice. Let's get to work. Oh. One last thing. This is only a prototype. I hope it's not too boo 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 buggy. Iraqi forces invaded Kuwait. Use the USA forces in the area to destroy the Iraqi units. Alright. So it looks like we have the two infantries and armor. So the thing about this game, everything fights the same. So, you don't get any bonus over armor. As far as I know of. So I'm gonna click. Everyone's gonna travel at a different speed so that they will all arrive at the same time and the fighting will begin. As you can see there's a little pie chart. Started a battle. There's a pie chart showing who's got the advantage. And as time goes on, it's gonna go more and more towards us. And there's the world, like I said earlier. All nice big globe you, you can see from space. Iraq started a battle. Started another battle, we have the advantage. I just can't get over this world view. You can see the sun going around, you see all the stars. It's a pretty amazing view. Just like that, we won! Balance of power. Alright, let's do the second one, since we have time. Back on, so it begins. The USA needs a foothold in the region and wants you to occupy two major cities. Capture Tehran and Baghdad. There we go. We're going to take all forces. Three armor, two infantry. Whoops, wrong button. I'm still trying to get used to these buttons. When they're in this when infantry is in the city, it means they're times 2. So you may have one infantry unit in there, but it acts as two since they're in the city. And as you can see, the system is a little buggy. It's part of the game. The screen goes staticky sometimes. That just adds to the effect. As the computer said earlier, it is still buggy, so. Started between you and Iraq in Baghdad. As you can see, we still have the advantage here. Even though they are times two, we're still gonna come out on top. Now another nice thing about this is you can skip ahead days just by hitting the space bar. You have captured 
return Baghdad. Units merged. All right, let's go finish them off. I could set them so they go there as fast as they can and they're not held back by the infantry, but the more people there, the more likely we have to win. So I want them to go all at the same time. So let's skip ahead a few days. I do like how it goes from day to night. You can see that easily. And this is on low graphics settings. It looks pretty amazing on my PC, that is. And as you can see, the world is turning. Just like it normally does. You and Iran started a battle in Tehran. I'm interested to see how the story goes. Because in, like I've mentioned before, and as I mentioned in the beginning video, the computer's a little buggy still. You have captured Tehran. So I'm wondering if that's going to affect the gameplay. It's going to affect the story later on. We'll find out as we play more through this. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe for more. We'll see you guys later.